Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, we are making one of my favorite things on the planet, which is an, a coffee ice cream. What's made even better, it's that it's a no churn. So no machine needed, no egg yolks, none of that. It's super simple and super easy. And if you wanted to just to make a coffee version, it would be five ingredients and under, some things you may already have on hand. I'm gonna kick things up a little bit because I feel like, well, it's delicious. I'm gonna add some Frangelico, which is an hazelnut liqueur, but you can also use, I've done this with three different liqueurs, which was a phenomenal. Frangelico, Amaretto, which is an almond liqueur, and you can also use Bailey's. I like the Frangelico because it's just absolutely my favorite. Amaretto would be definitely Joe's favorite. Bailey's, Papa Sal's favorite. It is what it is. So you can use any of those three or none at all if you wanna make it friendly for everyone. You can use none at all. The ingredients you'll need for this is very few. You'll need some heavy cream, which I'm gonna pour right into a large bowl. Then you'll need some sweetened condensed milk, instant coffee, a bit of water, and some vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. But I'm also gonna be adding some Frangelico because, because I can, because I'm an adult and I want to. <laughs> I'm gonna start off by just whipping my heavy cream until it just starts to thicken a little bit and then we'll add the uh, sweet and condensed milk. Before I move any further with the heavy cream actually, I just wanna dilute my instant coffee for a second. You can just add it straight to the heavy cream I find it that it, I truly find it that it blends into the heavy cream. It, it, it incorporates a lot better if you've diluted it already. So that's why I do that. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this. Okay, this is the point where I add the coffee and I add a touch of vanilla. Add that right in. Get all those beans, a pinch of salt, so crucial, so important. And then a shot, optional, of frangelico. You know what? Feeling excited. And I'm gonna just continue to whisk this until it's thickened up quite a bit. I really thought I was gonna be able to get through that with the um, whisk going, but Add in your sweetened condensed milk. Oh, this is incredible, incredible. Just gonna get it out of there. Okay. Mm. And incorporate. Okay. When I tell you this tastes incredible as is, like you could use this as a whipped topping on something and people would be so happy. Oh my goodness, so good. Okay, in some ice cream molds. I'm gonna use two because I don't wanna overstuff, otherwise the lid won't go on quite at right, quite as right. And now the worst part about this is that it's just gonna have to go into the freezer for several hours, really best overnight, because you wanna give it plenty of time to set, plenty of time to do its thing. Mm. It's just beyond. It's absolutely beyond. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, into the freezer, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all set. And this is mine. Once it sets overnight, let it come to room temperature a little. Clearly, I didn't, but if you let it come to room temperature a little bit, it just scoops so easily and perfectly and it is just absolutely divine. I think, I know you will love it. I've already given this lots and lots, and that has watering, of taste tests because um, I can't help myself. It's, it's who I am, it's how I'm built, it's what I do. Mm. I think that is the perfect coffee ice cream. It has the perfect amount of coffee. It's sweet, not overly sweet. I taste the frangelico a little bit. I could have definitely go heavier, refrain myself a little bit. It would be great with amaretto. It would be fabulous with Bailey's or none at all. Mm. That is so good. It's like almost, it's almost sinful. It's so good and it's so easy. There's no need 
to run out to make something for tomorrow morning, to, you know, for tomorrow if, afternoon or tomorrow evening if you have people over. Just make this. You don't have to make anything too elaborate. This is perfect. You could do a chocolate sauce on top if you wanted to. Divine. Laura in the kitchen.com for the written recipe. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mmm.